Hello everyone. In this video I'll tell you about the controls in People Playground. Don't forget that this video is divided into episodes, so you can quickly switch to the moments you want. Don't forget to subscribe and like it. Let's start with the camera controls. To move around the map, you can use two ways. Hold the middle mouse button and drag the camera wherever you want. Or use the arrows on your keyboard to move more precisely. To zoom in and out of the camera you need to rotate the mouse wheel backwards and forwards accordingly. So, you've figured out how to use the camera. Now let's learn how to spawn an object. On the left side you have a panel with objects. At the top there are many categories with different types of objects. You can click on them and see what is in each category. You can click on any object from this menu. To see right away if you've chosen the right object you can look at the icon on the top left to see your selection. To spawn the selected object, you need to press Q to make the object look left, or E to make the object look right. Interacting with objects. To grab an object, click on the left mouse button. Hold it down if you want to drag the object. When you release the left mouse button, the object you were holding will fall. If this object can be activated, you can activate it with the F key. Right clicking on any game object opens a context menu with different settings for the object. To hide this context menu you need to left click anywhere else or select any setting from this menu. If you want to rotate an object, grab it and then press A if you want it to rotate to the left, or D to rotate to the right. You can also press the left shift key to make it spin faster. If you want to drag an object across some grid, grab it and press left alt. Rotation also works with the grid, so you can rotate the object while holding down the left alt key. If you want to delete this object, grab it and press the backspace key. You can also delete the last object that you spun with the Z key. Time control. If you want to slow down time, press the G key. Time will slow down to certain percentages, which you can adjust in the game settings. To stop time completely, press the space key. Switching the view modes. If you press the S key, the detailed mode is activated, where you can see the centers of mass of the objects, the health of the entities, and other things. To find out the temperatures of the objects, press the T key. Cold and warm colors will appear, which show the temperature of the objects. Game interface. To hide or open the sidebars, press the tab key. To switch between tools and powers, press the left control key. A panel with powers and tools. I want to make a separate video explaining each power and each tool in the future. For now, I'll tell you how to switch these panels quickly. Each tool and power is numbered from top to bottom. From 1 to 9 in the tool panel and 1 to 5 in the power panel. In the tool pane, almost every single tool has additional tools. To select them, you have to click on the same tool several times with the same number. For example, I want to select heat pipe. In the panel, it's in category number 4. And in this category, it's number 3. So I have to press the number 3 three times. For tools, there is the M key, which can be used to place a rope, a wire in the center of the object. Copying and pasting. To copy objects, you must first select them. To do this, hold down the left mouse button and select the objects you want. To copy the selected objects, press Ctrl plus C. To paste the selected objects, press Ctrl plus V. If you hold down this key combination, the copied objects will be shown as a projection. When you release the keys, the objects will be pasted. The answer to a more popular question. How do you give an entity a weapon in your hand? Easy and simple. You drag the human or android's hand forward, press the space key, which will stop time, then look for any weapon, turn and move it so that the human is holding it, and then press the F key on the entity's hand. Thank you all for watching, like and subscribe. It's very important to me. Bye.